Level three is we make vases and teapots. Okay, so teapots and vases are, have very similar techniques. Okay, so to start off with, they will make vases. Okay, so I'm centering the clay. So this is uh, about one and a half kilo or maybe two kilos. I think it may be of clay. So it's, uh, students will be doing mainly the vertical forms. Okay, so keeping your left hand and leaning your body weight on it. Okay, so remember centering, you have to center this part of the clay really well. Okay, then again, I take it up further so I can center the base part. Okay, and taking it down very slow hands. Okay, so taking it down again. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the clay. Okay, so I kind of push the hole through it first. And because this is kind of a fairly vertical form, I'm going to open it so that the clay is fairly vertical. Okay, so don't forget any bit pieces, you need to kind of create a sort of a donut sort of environment for the clay to go up. Okay, now clay is ready to go up with bit pieces. I'm going to use the sponge to help me. Okay, then again. Okay, so I'm keeping it vertical. Okay, the vertical form is very, very difficult because you want to hold that clay up. And so using the sponge is where, um, would be very helpful because you've cut down on the moisture that you're using. Okay, so because I'm using the sponge on the outside, then I don't have to throw water on it. But for the inside, you need to moisten your hand. Okay, for the inside hand. Okay, so I'm squeezing and it's getting taller now. Okay, so I have to separate my hands, but the moment I can, I have my thumb outside and I touch my other hand. So the two hands still work as one unit. Okay, so it's kind of tall enough that I have to uh, use my hands now. So I'll now throw water on it. Okay, so from here. Okay, so even though I'm going to make a round bottle, I still kind of bring it up as a cylinder first. Okay, so if you tell your hands to be at four o'clock, the inside is at four o'clock, the outside is also at four o'clock. Okay, so otherwise, sometimes people's hand gone over there. Okay, and this and this one is at four o'clock, the other one is at two o'clock. Then the clay would not come up because it's not being compressed. 
Okay, so maybe um, I'll take it up one more time and then I will start shaping it. The reason why level one, the cylinder is so important, it's because everything comes as a cylinder first. So you notice that to make the bowl, you took the cylinder and then you start opening like that. So for a vase, even though my vase is going to be like this, I would take it up as a cylinder and then shape it. Okay, so maybe now I would start shaping my cylinder into a round vase. Okay, so it's also important to wet this part because it might touch here. Okay, so now I'm pushing my vase out. I'm going to belly out my vase. So I actually stop, I actually stop kind of like leaving about a third. Okay, then I belly it out again. Okay, now tell yourself four o'clock. Okay, and stop. Okay, so tidy up the inside has often has when you see it. Then again, I'm going to belly it out a little bit more. So my inside finger is actually pushing, pushing my clay onto this rib here. So it goes up like this, okay? Why? Right, maybe I'll belly up a bit, a bit more. Okay, so this part here, I will call that done. Then now I'm going to fix up the top. Okay, so the top is going to come back in into a small opening. Then I, now we need to clean up the inside because I may not be able to get my hands back in. Okay, now moisten your hands. Okay, so you can actually push this top part here back in like this. Okay, then choke it back in. Okay, now push this part here. Okay, see how my hands are touching each other? Okay, so two hands work as one unit and it's still the two middle finger that's doing the work. Okay, so now I'm going to just work on the shoulder. Okay, so see how my hand is touching the rib? So my, ha my hands are communicating with each other and also working as one unit. Okay, so close this back up a little bit more. Okay, then push it back in a bit more. Okay, now fix this part. Okay, so check your form. Okay, now check this in. Okay, so pick it up.
So every time you would color the, the clay in, you have to thin it out again. Because when you color it in, the clay becomes thicker. Okay, so every time I colored my clay in, the clay becomes thicker. So I have to thin it out again. Okay, so because I have been stopping and starting, and very often you'll find that the tip is uh, becoming a little bit uneven, then there's always the way of just taking a little bit off. Often, you know, like vase is very difficult to turn. Okay, so you will try and do as much as you can now to save you a bit of work later. Okay, so again, this uh, gets dry staying on top of that, on top of this. 